A key concept of vertical slice architecture is to organize domain and application logic into cohesive slices. But what if we have a construct that's used in many slices and isn't related to our domain at all? If we want to reuse this construct in multiple slices, then we'll need a layer underneath of our slices that all of our slices can depend on and use to leverage shared functionality. So that being said, let's create a layer underneath of all of our slices that'll contain common, non-domain related constructs. So introducing our vertical slice architecture application, this is a WPF MVVM application. And to implement MVVM concepts, we're leveraging this MVVM essentials.wpf package that I've created so that I can reuse in multiple projects. But let's assume that we don't have this package. So let's remove it, uninstall it from our packages, and let's build and see all of the errors that we get. And as expected, we get tons of errors related to MVVM infrastructure that is now missing, such as viewmodel based navigation services, etc. So that being said, we're going to have to implement this MVVM infrastructure in our vertical slice architecture project. So let's start off by implementing view model base. So in our MVVM essentials package, this is a base view model that just implements I notify property change. So let's add this class to our vertical slice architecture project. Should we put it in the entities layer? No, because it's not domain related. It's just a base view model. The features layer, same reason, view model base is not domain related. And finally, we can't put it in the application layer or the pages layer because both of these layers are above the features layer and there is some view models in our features layer that will need to reference view model base. So as we mentioned, we're gonna need a layer underneath all of our slices for this non-domain related shared code. So let's add a new folder in our project and we're gonna call this layer shared. You could call it shared, common, framework, but let's keep it simple, just call it shared. And inside this shared layer, we wanna add our view model base so let's put this in its own folder for view models and let's add view model base. So I'm actually just going to copy it over from my MVVM essentials project that I have over here. So let me copy this file and paste it in here. So here we have view model base again, just implements I notify property changed. Let's update our namespace. So we are secret message WPF dot shared dot view models. So before going around our application and updating our namespaces, to reference our shared layer instead of MVVM essentials. Let's just finish implementing everything that we need in our shared layer to support MVVM infrastructure. Another key concept of MVVM infrastructure is navigation. So we'll have to bring over this navigation service that we previously referenced in our MVVM essentials. So in our shared layer, let's add another folder here. We'll call this navigation. And let me copy over the navigation services from MVVM essentials and paste them in here. So our I navigation service interface with just the navigate method. Let's update this namespace. There we go. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for our navigation service. So update the namespace. We can also import view model base here. And now there's much more that we're gonna have to bring over from our MVVM essentials package. So that being said, I'm gonna bring over the required pieces from the MVVM essentials package off camera real quick. All right, and with that, our shared layer now has all the relevant pieces from our MVVM essentials package in order to support MVVM infrastructure. So we got our commands, an async command, a base command, a navigate command, which is helpful, all of our navigation infrastructure, as well as a base view model and our main view model for the shell of our application. So now I just need to go and update the rest of our slices to reference our shared layers. So rather than referencing MVVM essentials, we need to reference our shared layer. So import that namespace, update those references, and I'll do the rest of these off camera because this will be pretty tedious. All right, so I went through and updated all of those namespaces, which wasn't fun. I realized I could have just kept the namespace as the same when I copied it over, and then I wouldn't have had to go on through the entire app and change everything. But nonetheless, our application builds now. We can start this up, all is good. And now our shared MVVM infrastructure lives within our shared layer so that all of our slices can reference it. So we've seen the benefit of this shared layer, but other than just bringing over MVVM infrastructure, there is another enhancement I wanted to implement in this shared layer. So last time when we implemented the application layer and added dependency injection to that layer, we found ourselves repeating 
how we register a navigation service in dependency injection. So for example, adding this home navigation service is very similar to how we add the login navigation service, as well as how we add the navigation service for other pages. So that being said, I'd like to create a reusable extension method for simply adding a navigation service. So this extension method for adding a navigation service, it's not really application related because we could reuse this anywhere in any application and it's certainly not domain related at all either. So I feel like this would be a good candidate for our shared layer and we could even fit this into our navigation slice that we already have defined in our shared layer. So let's add a new class here for our extension method. We'll call this the add navigation service extensions. We'll have to make this static since it'll contain an extension method. This extension method will return an I service collection in case we want to use it fluently. We'll call it add navigation service. We're extending I service collection. So that's the type that we want to use this extension method on. And all we want to do is register a navigation service for a particular view model. So let's just copy over our navigation service registration for the login view model and paste that in our extension method as a starting point. And we need to return an I service collection from this extension method. So let's just return the service collection that we get back from the fluent add singleton method. And all we need to do to make this reusable is take the view model as a generic type. So we can make add navigation service a generic method for some kind of T view model. And let's use T view model instead of login view model now. But now we get an error because navigation service wants our T view model type to be a view model base. So we need to apply this constraint to our extension method as well. So we want to specify that T view model needs to inherit from view model base. And that takes care of the error. So now let's go ahead and use this reusable extension method. So for adding the home navigation service, remove this duplicated boilerplate. Instead, we just want to add navigation service and pass in our view model type, the home view model. So let's do this for the login page as well. Instead of registering our login navigation service like this, let's use our reusable extension method and add a navigation service for our login view model. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for our other pages off camera real quick. All right, updated all of our page extension methods to use our reusable extension method here. So let's boot this up, make sure everything still works as expected. Looks good. Let me just go through each page real quick as well. And all is good. So just to summarize, we added a shared layer for non-domain related reusable constructs such as MVVM infrastructure. And since the shared layer is the bottommost layer of our application, then all of our slices could reference this layer in order to leverage shared functionality. So hopefully you can apply this concept to your own vertical slice architecture application in order to reuse non-domain related functionality. Aside from that, if you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns, be sure to leave those below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video or are enjoying the channel, consider becoming a member. Other than that, leave a like or subscribe for more. Thank you.